Okay, second vignette here is just going to be, I'm going to show you the setup for the square in the plot program that we're writing. Okay, so you can see here I've got my program name, or my project name, square and plus. I just want to file and save project as, and named it square and plus. Okay, and now from here on out I can just hit save and it'll save it. Okay, so here you'll see I'm starting with a steering block and I've got it set for to go forward. I've got it turned on and I'm setting it for 50% power. I went in here and I just came down to orange flow control blocks because I want to use these blocks to control the flow of the program. I'd like it to keep doing this until something is met, a condition is met. So I'm bringing in a wait for block. It's kind of a simplistic way of doing a loop, um, but I'll show you how to do a more a better loop here later on. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to motor rotation, compare for rotations. I'm going to say greater than because I want the motor to go greater than. I'm going to choose port B and greater than the number of rotations to go forward. Once it's met, once the rotation sensor has met greater than one, I'm going to have it stop, turn off the motors. And this will be just a nice stop of the motors. And then I'm going to have it go into its turn. Now you can see here I selected 38. This may or may not be the right for a um, 90 degree turn. Um, but I've got it going 50% power and I know that one rotation is not going to be enough for a 90 degree turn. But this is my basic straight and turn. So I'm going to bring in a little comment here. This is another troubleshooting technique. Um, we're going to use straight and turn. So this is also helpful when you share your programs with me or with your navigator so they can see what the group of text should or the group of blocks should be doing. Okay, so now I could go and copy and paste this and get a long, a long set of things, or a long set of code. Um, you could also try to bring in another wait for block and say, you know what, I want to wait, make this wait for something, but it's not going to, it's only going to repeat, or it'll go one rotation and then it'll sit here. So this is where loop blocks come in handy. I'm going to name this. I'm just going to name it square, and I'm going to highlight this code. And bring it back and put it in here. And, and use my comment there. And then I'm going to set this to count for four. And so, and that's a good troubleshooting technique. If you notice that your code isn't quite working, highlight the part you want to take out, take it out, put your loop at the end or just break it off, and then run this part, get this perfected, then put this back into the loop and connect the loop. Um, another good thing you could bring into it is just put an end program block in here, or stop program. That's, you know, that'll clean things up. Alright, for the plus, you're going to be, I'm going to use move tanks for this. So here I've got my straight, and again, this is not the right number or rotations for the turn, um, for the, to go the distance. Then here, I'm going to go, now I want to do a turn. And I want to do a 90 degree turn. I want to do a 90 degree turn in place, kind of what I call a point turn, turning around a center point. So I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to say negative 50. And I'm going to say, okay, so this will make it turn in place. And I'm going to actually turn this on and I'm going to come back to my flow control and I'm going to use flow control and I'm going to say motor rotation, compare rotations. And I'm going to change this one to C since C is the forward moving, and I'm going to figure out how many rotations I want it to go before I have it turn off the motors. So there it's gone forwards. Now you'll notice, wait a minute though, this goes forwards, stops, turns, and then stops. I actually want it to go forwards and backwards. So I need to change this to negative 50 and then have it go back and then stop and then throw in my turn negative 50 and again I'm going to have them use the oops I'm going to go on negative 50 and I'm just going to bring in the wait for block and do the rotation 
rotation sensor. And it's the promoter C. And again, this one I have it going backwards. I only want to set that one back to motor B. Motor C. And do my stop. Turn it off. And then bring in my loop. Test that out and make sure that it goes forwards, backwards, and turns. Once I have that in, then I can throw in my loop. And I would put my loop here at the beginning um, so that when I copy and paste it, it's already ready to go. And then this will be the plus. So I've got my loop here, and I'll explain a little bit later on in the year why we're doing that. And then my end program, or stop program, throw that in, and bam. So just like that. All right, good luck, and go forth and do great things.